listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio. <laughs> you like getting ready? You want to flex in this shit no. like? With Mick and B. Wall. Hi, guys. Look who's here. It's Ron. He's back. We're so happy today. I'm so happy today. Well, I'm look, happy. Look, look, I got to act like I ain't, I ain't happy. Right? He's trying to act all cool and shit like he don't care. Fuck you been there. We're all excited. Like, he's back. Yay. I'm hella giddy. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, Ben. The Staples Arena. Oh, okay. <laughs> and? And my scholarship program. And is. hanging out with celebrities and shit, doing a choreography oh, for yeah, videos. Oh, yeah, Gladys. Oh, oh y'all on the first name, baby? <laughs> I know. That's like his auntie <laughs> oh, now Gladys. and shit. <laughs> auntie Gladys. I call her, I call her Gigi. That's what we, that's what oh, we call my her. God. So how was that working with her? That was bomb. It was uh, The pictures looked great. So, it's so It was weird trying to like absorb it and still work at yeah. the same time because it was my it was my baby so right it was, it was weird and i was like a crash course so i really didn't know what i was doing but everybody thought i knew what i was doing I hey really. that's how you learn that's how and you that's learn. how you like get out there and put, get your foot in the door so when you good it doesn't really matter like if you're good at what you do you don't have to know exactly what you're doing it's just yeah, if just, you bomb you bomb it out. Shit. It out. <laughs> yeah Should'll met, work out. Met hella celebrities. They don't really mean much. Oh, like, I saw that one video. Oh my God. It was like a lot of people there. Yeah, was I was like, like, holy shit, Mary, why Mary, am I not Kimberly there? Lee's, Eric Benet, yeah, it was like everybody. Like it was a ton of people there. Was Lettucey there? Lettucey yes, was there. I remember Price seeing was there. this. I don't remember everybody. I've I stopped, met a lot of those people, but to be in one room. I stopped listening to Kimberly at least, man. I love her, man. That's the only person I, I was worried her. about. Everybody was like, oh my God. Yeah, and then Kimberly, somebody much like shifted, and then she was like standing there. I was like, Ooh. like holy shit! Yeah. I'm like, that's Kimberly. And everybody was like, that's who that is. And I'm like, you how didn't do you know not who know? That was? Yeah, how do you not know? I, I met her once at a at a premiere. Yeah, I met her at an event. And just damn, she just be glowing. Like they like you know she be in movies. They be they be dressing. I don't her think down. she all that pretty, but I think she's she bad. Pretty. I think she's not like herself. she's not ugly, she but bad. but when they put in movies, see, legal. <laughs> When they put her in movies, they dress her down, and then when you see her in person, and she's just natural, she bad as hell. I just want her to see, cry. Yeah, I don't look right. That she that ugly cry. Mm-hmm. I mean, but that's that cry that make yeah. you cry. Like, what am I sad about? No, I like her. <laughs> I, I don't look at her as just like a bad shit. Like, I don't look at her no, like I, that. No. I just I like Overall, her. No, if you would have seen well, you, you know, no, I've, if you would have seen what her she before. was wearing, like what she was wearing, oh, I was I guess. hugging the whole man. Well, for me, that would do nothing man, either way. Yeah. So I don't know. I just don't look at her like that. She's just but, pretty. Like yeah, that, she's like, cute. like Lupita is beautiful. Like she's just pretty. Yes. You would never be like Lupita is sexy as hell. Exactly. That, that just wouldn't happen. Kimberly, that's how I look at Kimberly. She had on like, a, like what you. Just she had on like a peach colored something or other. And she got body though. Right, you got body. She does have body. That's true. Me, me and me and the homie Kali, we was like, because she's on that show, hit the floor. What's with that? a lot of people oh, that I know. She plays yeah. the mother. Hit the floor. I always tell you about the show. But I don't. Because my crush is McKinley Freeman on that show. Oh, yeah. We got to get him on the show. You should watch it. You might like but it. But I've uh-huh. told you about the show, like, a lot. And she's on that show. Oh, I didn't know she was on the yeah. show. Yeah. And mom. it's back on, I think. It's or something. Year, it's coming yeah. back on. So, mm. so I met her because they were all, like, at an event <laughs> or whatever. What, so. Can I get this on Netflix or what's it on? I don't think it's on Netflix. MTV. I don't know. I yeah. Like, MTV. Something like that. You can find it online, though. I'll find it for you. Well, it's great to have you back. We will be Snapchatting to you guys. So follow me on Snapchat at It Girl Forever. B's been on there already, and he didn't even know I just snapped pictures. She be getting on my nerves with that shit, dog. I'm I just over be there. snapping him. He don't be knowing he on there. Gotta shit. You got to snap? He, does, he refuses. You, you be on, you be on he's hers. on mine because he he's like, no, I'm not doing it. So I just put him on mine. I'm not going to force him like I do everything else. I'm just, fuck it. Yeah, I've been Snapchatting you guys for <sighs> since I started. Yeah, I've been all over my Snapchat. <laughs> we didn't even know. <laughs> didn't even know it. <laughs> well, we have little conversations on Snapchat at times, and they're quite funny. <laughs> Get with it. I'll have to tell you what he said off air because he's stupid. <laughs> I just, I, he just, I just say dumb I, shit. I, just, I gotta go away now. I'm going away. It's fine. I'm, I'm hiding. It's so bright. In Doesn't here. he look like a oh, light skin internet thug today? Like I don't. You, know? mm-hmm. you look like. The default picture for, for my one, face. you <laughs> <laughs> you look like an R and B singer with those glasses on. <laughs> so I really needed you, but like the kind that try to be thugs, yes, the, the but ones, they still be singing like the ones who rough makes, ass who lyrics, makes be like, like RL, who, yeah. RL. <laughs> or RL. Life Jennings, or like John B. Life. <laughs> 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 
life. Life Jennings. You do got the shit. life scrub. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Where's this dude? I used to like his shit. He was just He's on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, okay. That. No, he was on Love and Hip Hop. I mean, that's, mm. that's just as bad as Jay. Yeah, true. Me. I agree. Now, this, this, this is, a, I used to DJ with this. It's, it's vintage. Only neo soul hip hop n- Negroes wear brown fitted. <laughs> 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 Yes, that's what he look like today. Only person, only person I know who wears a brown fitted is you, most deaf, common, and my older brother. And Robbie. He falls <laughs> kind of in that category though, so it makes sense for him to be in that category. Brown fitted. That's you. That's fine. Cause yeah, I like that's dope. Right. It's like a good group. It's not a bad hat to be with. Yeah. No, I told him today. Was I was like, was you look a, a little thuggy. One of the homies gave it to me when I first started DJing. So, are oh, you missing is some Jabot straps? Okay, let's not take <laughs> let's things. Let's not go that far too far i mean like that was With just new jack uncalled. swing beats and all that shit we cool i love a good rat you could be a male rat that's <laughs> apparently called, that's apparently i'm a, apparently i'm a male thought i call him this all the time i'm a male thought he's a male thought. because of the three professions that i was involved in you're just the male thought because i know too much about you so i call him a fuck boy too but he hate when i say that because he don't believe that he's one i don't really care when you say that honestly I just think it's funny. It just, it just sounds funny. The, the, the term in itself is I can hilarious. go with that, but fuck boy, no. He's a fuck boy. Thought. If you knew the shit that I know, he, you'll call no, him a fuck No, boy. no, no, because somebody posted well, like Well, fuck the, boy is, has different meanings, too, yes, though, to well, different people. Don't tell me, because I don't want to know. There's like, different meanings. It's funny as long, as long as I don't know the meanings, okay? The just, meaning just, that just I yourself. use it for, you're that. Just put it that way. But it can mean different things. Oh. Really? How mature. No, I'm not. <laughs> but you, you saw the thing, right? Yeah. It said the, the top 10 professions that a male thought has. I, not, I was like, Didn't I send that to you? I don't remember, <laughs> but it's like, God, apparently I'm three of them. What I was were, three of them. Which, which three? Because I was cracking but up. DJ, I think, was one. DJ, um, DJ trainer, and trainer. club promoter. <laughs> <The person laughs> I'm the trainer one cracked those. me up. Yeah. The, That's true, though. On all yeah. trainers yes. that I know are thoughts. 99% of the trainers I know are straight hoes. They fuck everybody. That's true. It was a barber on it, wasn't it? I think was so. Barbara, Barbara was, on, was on, there. on there. Yeah. That cracks me up. Cause I <laughs> Dudes so, the working warehouses was, so, was on there, yeah. too. <laughs> Truck drivers <laughs> was on there. <laughs> All of those really are thoughts, though. I just thought, yeah. They true. T- t- it's very out. true. Hey, man, I did it for the money, man. And I was just, I just happened to be good at it. So, I'm reformed. I don't do two out of three no more. You technically have a thought right? name, too. Brian. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's on the list of thought names. That's a thought name? Yes. yes. Hey, can you send me that? Yeah. I, I got to find it. I'm not on it, though. No. <laughs> but, yeah, Brian is definitely on Why there. is Brian a thought name? Because it That's is. That's such a thought name. That is definitely a thought it name. It really is. That's a thought name. Think back to high school. How many of your friends? Name Brian. Oh, it, all girls and fucked with at least one Brian. A Brian, a Brian. Especially a light-skinned Brian, too. You know what? I knew a couple of light-skinned Brian. I'm they telling you. Chicks. Thought name. Going. It's true. Going. Since my name is borderline ghetto. Man. It won't. It's yeah. not going to be on any list because I have a made-up ass name. White people like my name for whatever reason. I feel my name is ghetto, but I've learned to embrace it. <laughs> ride, you ride that line. I mean, ride I've just line. embraced it. <laughs> my I've name, embraced my it. name rides the line too because they don't really because of that H. Yeah, that they, H. they don't really know. Like, the is he H black? Is it? The What's H going on? H. They yeah, be interested. Yo. They be like, "Rob the H." Like, who is that? Yeah, your H throw people off, and it can. It can read as like real urban or it can just be unique. And that's kind of my, else, yeah. that's how my name is. It's like, okay, girl, you real urban right now. But then again, it's different. So, so, so that's, what I'm, yeah. that's what I'm like. Brian, well, I mean, the only reason why Brian would be a thought name is just the sheer number of Brian's in this. Yeah, country. that's go. exactly why. Percentage wise, there's going to be some hoes out of that group. And every girl, at least in, at some point in her life, has fucked with a Brian. <laughs> so my nephew's like, that's name what is makes Brian, it a thought name. I feel like good luck Chuck all of a sudden. That's terrible. Just saying. Sorry, boo. It I is don't even what know it what is. good luck Chuck is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie about a guy that basically fucks these chicks. <laughs> then when they leave him, they get married. But so they all fuck him because they think uh, yeah, after I they fuck it. him, they're going to they're yeah. get married. Oh. Right. I have not seen that yet. <laughs> he was so serious. He's like, I don't know. It's, not, worth, it's not really worth seeing. It's not like a great movie. It's not oh. good. It's As a comedy. <laughs> It's one I them. guess uh, it it's wasn't that funny. It wasn't good. A yuck, yuck, yuck. Not even. <laughs> so, did anything interesting happen before we get into the story? Because we mm. can just sit here all day and just talk about bullshit. Y'all know <laughs> My that. fucking name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. We'll just talk about bullshit like the entire day. But um, um, 
there have been like three incidents that I've heard of people fighting in the street and then getting run over. Like you know how people what? like you know how people like used to like jump in fights. Mm-hmm. Now they're getting in the car and running people. Oh, I saw, I saw that. Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I didn't know what you meant. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw a video on Instagram or something. But or I've heard YouTube. three three instances of people that I know. Oh, people that you actually yeah. know. Okay. They were. Of course, they live in <laughs> you the need south. Some new friends, it's like well, people you know. That's different. People I know, I didn't say they're my friends. <laughs> <laughs> to the people I know, <laughs> y'all, be different. <laughs> y'all got mutual friends on Facebook, but two of them were from Florida, and I was cracking up because oh they was like, God. Oh. and then one of them was in Atlanta. <laughs> okay. And I don't, I mean, do people not care about jail anymore? Apparently not. I just wanted to know. It's a place I'm not trying to go. I mean, if we, if it's okay to run people over, I have a few people. I oh, need absolutely. To go run over. You think I mean, I would want to run him over sometimes. Not like hurt him for real. That's going to hurt Just, him. I mean, That'll break a leg. No, no, no. That's going to do a lot more. Break a leg. How the fuck we going to go to events? I'm in a wheelchair. Explain this to me. You going to push, push me you. on the red carpet? Paraplegics go to wheelchair. I'll go push you. Fuck? You going to push me on the yeah. red carpet? And pose me too? Really? You going to knock the whole thing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, w- I really would do that. And decorate his wheelchair and shit. Oh, yeah. That would be great. With lights. That's yeah. fucked up. I would put like Christmas lights I'll on your wheelchair. I'll dance you in. Like, I'll be like. Yep. That would be great. <laughs> we can make this work. I'm telling you. Real coming to America, like. Don't you worry. Oh, fuck both of y'all. But and I'm the type that'll hit him with my car and then take care of him. That's fine. That's some misery shit. You need to sleep with your eyes. Open. <laughs> That's some misery shit, you right think there. I'm crazy anyway. That's it's fine. Whatever. Misery from IKEA. <laughs> That's why I keep my door locked. I think shit. I'm the only person that, that want to like really hurt him, but then would like you're not kill a bitch though for like doing anything to him. That's that, like, that's, sis, that's that brother sister <laughs> shit. Cause like I'll whoop my little brother ass, but if somebody else touched yeah, me, I would stop like, the shit out of him. You know what? If it be right. only person beating his ass is, my, it's is me. me. Exactly. Like you, bitch, you can't say certain shit to him. Only I can say that. But yeah, you know people try it. You know I'm like that. Don't hit me with a. I don't really want to get hit by no I'm car. I'm not gonna hit you with a car. I'm like I know this hoe better know who I am. <laughs> you ain't. She don't know you no more. Your ass ain't been here. What's her name today? One second. I need to have a conversation. Okay. We're going to give him a minute. Right, we're going to get into these. We're going to get into it, and he'll let us know the iPad's name today. <laughs> real, really? Real, real quick, shout out to the homie Joy that told me he was listening today. He just got it. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, yeah. I saw that on Joy. Facebook. Yeah, so. I used to work with him back in the day. So. Cool. Tell your friends. <laughs> let them know. Tune in today. All right. Let's get into the fuckery news. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can I do this? Yes, one? please do this. One. I'm scared. Because uh, Radio Flower. I like saying her real name. You don't for whatever reason. I like Radio Flower. Eileen, cool. girl. D's Nuts is running for president. It's been all over the news. <laughs> when I, I saw it, when it. I first saw it, man, I died laughing and shit. I did die. Oh, but, my <laughs> God. I died when I saw this shit. The funny part to me was the 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 the, the guy, the anchor, the news anchor. His face. He was like, you know, it's a brother, too. And yes. he, had, he had the white boy voice on the shit because he on TV. He's nuts. He's oh second God. in the lead. I, I forget and what And in his were, head, you know he like, please don't let this. Not, he no, please it. don't let him be black. Please don't let him be black. You know who I thought it was, right? I thought it was that dude, Welvin. You know Welvin? Oh, God, yes. You know Welvin? Yes. No. The, the, the D's the, nuts, the D's retarded nuts. dude. And he goes, got him. <laughs> got, got, him. got him. Got him. That dude. Yeah. Yeah. He has so, a name. Yeah. These, He's famous now. He's like Instagram famous. So I don't know if it's him or not, but apparently. No, D- it's a 15 year old little boy. They say his name. Like, we figured out who he is. It's a 15 year old little <laughs> boy? He's not even old enough to run for president, yeah, though. How did he even. He just thought it as a joke, clearly. Oh, okay. And then he proved a point. He said that the fact that. I can fill out a form so vague that it doesn't include your age or the fact that I'll get accepted even if they're only partially filled, anyone can run. So he's like, I'm going to do it as far as America wants to. <laughs> like, he's just fucking that's around. Crazy. The thing that's so funny is he's got 9% of the I vote, I know, yeah. which is just hilarious. Which is how you know it's a joke. And he said, because I really didn't want to see Clinton, Bush, or Trump in the White House, so I guess I'm trying to put up a fight. So he's just like being a kid. And with his name's Brady Olson. You know he white with that name. As hell. And yeah. <laughs> As so hell. just a little kid. I love it. Smart, clearly. I like love to it. do this shit. You can tell he's intelligent. Did no one question as they were no. typing it in? Apparently like, not. These, these nuts. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> the fact let me, that we did let it. Let me do it all thing. capital. Maybe that'll look better. Like <laughs> got him. 
Yeah. That shit's hilarious. This shit was funny as hell. I like this kid. Yeah, me too. He's going to be someone when he, he may end up will. president. <laughs> He's going to end up the president. 20 years from now. Yes. Watch. I hope I'm dead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we need someone like that. <laughs> so this guy, Michael May in Kentucky, thought that it was a good idea to dig up his father's grave um, to argue with him. And, um, yeah, so on a drunken night, <laughs> <laughs> clearly he was drunk. You, you notice how that starts a lot of great a stories lot on a of drunken stories. night. stories, yeah. So he thought that it was a good idea to um, go to his father's grave, who's been buried for a good, what, 40 years Was it 40 so. fucking years? Mm-hmm. And um, he was quoting Bible verses and saying that, he didn't feel like he was violating the grave. He said that he sees the truth and he needs to be on the ground, not under it. And I read another article with the same story, but on a different site saying that um, it was his way of letting his father go to heaven. Yeah, I don't, whatever what? he was drinking that night um, was some good shit. Some sins. Some crazy shit. It was like. I don't. Gasoline. It had to be some drugs involved too. Because liquor, like, dude, it wasn't weed. I don't know much. I, uh -uh. I, no, it was not weed to <laughs> make you do some shit like this. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck he was thinking, but yeah, he didn't see shit wrong with it though. When the cops came, he, just he like, was he was in, he was he was off his shit. He was clearly yeah, off. He his like shit. what? I'm healthy. Like I don't see shit wrong with this. It's my daddy. Fuck. Like, That's gross though. So gross. I mean, would there even be any of him left after 30, 40 years? I know, now? just like bones, like. Uh. Dust? I don't. I don't really know. Maggots? Like I know. Worms? I don't quite know. I don't even know if he succeeded and like how far he got. But yeah, so he probably didn't even get that far, like into like getting to the grave. But mm -hmm, interesting. Hmm. Say no to drugs, kids. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This next one, though. <laughs> got it. Oh my god, this shit's so funny. <laughs> I'm trying to read it from over here. <laughs> okay. So guy. great. Guy Snapchats from under a girl's bed after her mom comes home too early. I'm going to let that sink, bro. Just think about it for a second. Oh, my God. Guy Snapchats. So he's trying to fuck bed. this girl. Snuck in. Mama's at work. You know, the typical teenage shit. He snuck in. Mama came home early. <laughs> he snapped the time. She's supposed to come home at 1030. And there was a snap on him. It was like 1021. So he was like, she's early. <laughs> She came home too fast. She get off at 1030. It's 1021. <laughs> this shit is so funny, yo. Like, oh my God. I was dying. <laughs> Look at his face. It's everywhere, but if you all want to see the pictures, it's on we pull this one from Elite Daily. Oh my God. <laughs> so he's butt ass naked. He's naked under her under bed. His, under her daughter's bed, Snapchat. Snapchat. And shit. Like, it's so many snaps. And he's using a flash. <laughs> Did he get caught? It didn't even, no, he said, I guess I'm asleep here, like, all night. That's what he said. That was his last snap that he posted. So he didn't get caught? No. So I thought I he guess, got caught. He didn't get caught? Well, in this story, it didn't say he got caught. Like, oh, okay. his last one was just like, guess I'm sleeping here, like. So where's his parents at? They ain't trying to get a hold of them. They ain't calling them. Oh, my God. You can't God. leave when she go to sleep? And I know. Eventually, she's going to go to bed. You know what? I mean, t I, maybe it's just an older generation type thing but you just walk with your damn tip tippy toes and get the I hell up out of there climb out the, the window <laughs> like i snuck boys in the house and my mom has been in the house and i got them niggas been out. there so, I, i've been, been there i've been snuck into the house I, yes, yeah like I've, I've managed to get the now i did get caught once but, but that's a different story <laughs> <laughs> you're still alive so it couldn't be yeah, right <laughs> well we were fully clothed so that's why i am alive so that's Ooh, happened to shit. me. That's happened to me twice. Well, the other time I got away, but <laughs> this time we were fully clothed. We were good. I don't know if I would. I, I, I've had this happen to me too. I don't know if I would have. If I even had the technology at the time, if I would have Snapchatted it. But I'm wondering, mm, like, yeah, like what you would have done. Not even me. I'm thinking for this kid, right? When he goes back to school the next Monday to follow money, whatever. He gonna be famous. Right. This shit's everywhere. Like he's famous. Like, he probably now. get. He probably getting mad respect for this. Hell shit. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> You you had a stakeout. Nigga, the, oh my when god! When the shit happened to me, when the shit happened to me, I literally felt like I was up under her bed too, and I fell asleep under the bed for about six, seven hours. I woke up with spider bites and shit because she was in the basement. Her what? bed was in the basement. Yeah. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. 
Okay. okay. There's no way I'm getting under anybody's bed in the basement. Nigga, See, fr- this didn't do all the pictures. There was one and he put, I didn't even nut yet. Or, or I didn't get to nut or something. It was like one of his <laughs> captions. Look at his face. He's so sad. <laughs> <sighs> he pissed. He's just like, fuck, I ain't even get to like really do shit. Yeah. And you in high school, you weren't gonna really do too nah, much when it when it happened to me, I was in college. Yeah. I was in college, but still like And they just dogging his ass in this article. Like I'm a firm believer of closet. <laughs> I think I think you know what? I had to get I like I mean, I give it up to him. I mean yeah. shit, that's some brave shit, Joe. This uh, shit was hilarious. Like just looking at the pictures in his face, the shit was so fun. So and funny. at one point, he was like peeking through. And shit. He, look, he <laughs> looks, picture. he looks more mad you know. that he didn't get to finish the fuck. Oh yeah, fuck all the. He other don't even shit. look scared. The no, mama home. He looked mad because he's sitting he there with blue balls. Just didn't care. Yeah, he's that's mad why he that he's mad. underneath the bed. Oh my god. Ass naked. <laughs> this is the next one, dude. Not over no vagina though. The guns and the booze though, only in Florida. Yes. Zimmerman and his homies would be going some shit like this. Yes. Uh, is it your turn? I think it's your turn. Is it my turn? Oh, no, maybe it's my turn. I don't know. I can know. It doesn't matter. Okay. Florida gun range to serve alcohol. Why? Florida that gun be a range. a good combination, Florida? To serve alcohol. Why? Don't they have enough problems? <laughs> so you want drunk motherfuckers with guns? Like, really? It's a trap for black for people. For one, exactly. right. I'm like, for That's one, they shoot is. people in Florida for no fucking reason and drinking just like juice yep. let alone some liquor come on yeah it's a trap so they're opening up a restaurant next to the gun range and they're saying well let's like connect it bulletproof walls i don't know they're gonna be killing a lot so of it's a restaurant gunner. next to the gun range and they're saying that to make a profit they have to serve liquor which i get they're like well you know to make real money and they're like oh it doesn't make sense if we don't sell liquor so that's the purpose of it. So some people were like, well, this isn't a good idea and blah, blah, blah. So they like, oh, we're going to make people sign affidavits to like swear that they aren't drunk. Because people tell the truth when they're drunk. Get the fuck out of here. That what, ain't that what we're supposed to do before we go drive? Like. And what we do. Like, are you, and drive. Like, are you serious, though? I, I don't drink and drive. I lied to an officer's fucking face a few weeks ago at a, what was that? The check. Remember we were, I was drinking, we were in Pasadena and I had all of those goddamn drinks and they did like one of those sobriety checks near my house. I lied to that bitch face. I was drunk as hell. Like, (laughs) bitch, I ain't drink shit but this water right here. Like, you fucking serious? Like, why would I tell you? Yes, I've been drinking. Oh, yes. I, 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 (laughs) hey. Are you serious? Hey. Mm, I'm, I'm cool. No. And I called him right after, like, holy crazy. shit. I snapped it too. <sighs> that happened to me. Oh though. my God. This is another reason to never go to Florida. Ever. Disney World was enough, but I mean, fuck, the rest of this shit going on? That's the reason you're supposed unless, to go. Fuck that. Unless it's Miami and I'm making some money, why am I there? It would have to be me making money, like for business be, purposes. It would have to be Miami. What? And only Miami. <laughs> you know Fucking Miami, Florida. What to go to Florida? Like, I wouldn't even go to Fort Lauderdale. This is in Daytona Beach, but mm-mm. I wouldn't go to Daytona. I would go back to Orlando and Never. Miami. I'm good, but that's it. We straight. If it ain't Disney, why am I going to Orlando? Universal. Mm-hmm. That's way better. <sighs> Been uh-huh. there, done that. I'm good. This is all you. This next one. This is all you. And you know I'm pissed because this didn't happen to me. Right, and we were at a Bloomingdale today. I, I think we should go in there. So mad. So Bloomingdale. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up that's why I like online shopping is the best so they have like this loyalist program like a lot of stores do or whatever where you gain points for so much money that you spend like Nordstrom has it or whatever mm-hmm. so Bloomingdale's has it and they fucked up and mis- they mixed up the points with dollar amounts niggas with hands mm-hmm. So, like, if you were supposed to have 5,000 loyalist points, that equated to $5,000. And some increments were, like, 10,000 and 25,000 was the highest. So, yeah, the guy that got the $25,000 one was smart about his shit. Because he was like, mm, I'm not going to order shit online because, you know, they probably going to reverse that it. shit in can. Yeah. They're going to catch on or whatever. So, I'm going to just go to the store and use my shit. He got like a diamond ring, all type of shit. Dang. <laughs> and Bloomingdale's is trying to come after him for the she like bullshit. This was y'all. Ten thousand 
dollar pair, diamond earrings, five thousand dollar watch, like all seventeen thousand dollars worth of merchandise. I mean, he bought dumb shit because I would have made. That I would have bought work. dumb shit too. I got twenty five dollars of money I that can I <laughs> blow, and I can't use it nowhere else but in Bloomingdale. But in Bloomingdale, that's true. So I'm just gonna. I mean, what yeah, else, you gonna what get? you gonna buy in it? Yeah. That's useful. I'm gonna buy me a worker. I'm like, look, <laughs> come to my house and do all my chores for a month. But I'm the type, grand. I like a lot of shit. Yeah. So that's what I mean by dumb. He only got like three things. Oh, like, yeah. I'm the type, I like need a lot of shit have, to make that mm-hmm. worthwhile, is what I'm saying. I so, have enough wardrobes. For like, shit wouldn't even be able to fit in my car. Like, that's how I am. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm crazy. Like, I'm just, I need all the shoes and bags and shit. Like, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, that's twenty five thousand dollar purses. Like, why would I get just like a pet? Fuck that! I'm getting hooked up, so couldn't be me. But yeah, this is a long ass article to just say they fucked up. Like, I don't even understand what all of this. Bloomingdale's doesn't sell electronics, does it? Oh, I don't think so. It's more like luxury shit because it's a higher end department store, so it's more. So they don't have higher end TVs. I don't think so. I think it's more home stuff. What, Bloomingdale's? Jewelry, yeah. clothes, of course. Like, shit like that. Not really, like... It's like old, wrinkly white lady. Rich, old, though. Old, wrinkly, rich, rich white lady. yeah. Because Bloomies ain't like a Bloomies Macy's. Ain't cheap. No, it's... This is it's like So, better. what you're saying is $25,000 card. If I had it, I wouldn't be able to even use it there? You, you would. There. You would find you some shoes, plenty of stuff. a you watch. Can... Like, you would find shit that you yeah. like. Hats and shit. You would find shit. Trust oh, okay. me. Okay. Trust me. It would still be a bunch of expensive <laughs> stuff that you wouldn't buy normally. But right. It's stuff that you could buy with twenty. So I'm rocking. I'm rocking a, a five thousand dollar hat, and the yeah. rest of my outfit is worth like thirty six dollars and some change. Whatever. And people do, would know. I mean, do what you do. Whatever works. <laughs> I would have. Ain't your money. <laughs> Why does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it matter? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we have time for three. Which I mean, one more out of three. Which one? Uh, all of these are kind of good. We may be able to just touch on a little. Because we got a little time. Okay, well, just let's hit them real quick then. The first one, a police, uh, the police say a woman lied about being kidnapped so she didn't <laughs> she have to go to work. Stupid bitch. <laughs> her boyfriend was in on it, too. He helped her. Panama City, which is in Florida. I hate everybody. Just in case people don't know. <laughs> of course it uh, is. She was arrested on <laughs> charges of allegedly lying about being kidnapped so she didn't have to return to her job as a night shift nurse assistant. Girl, is that serious? In a world where niggas need jobs. Thank you. And then her boyfriend in the background and shit, like, talking shit, like, stay in the car. You can't get, like, talking like he's really holding her captive and shit. So, you know, the workers hear this shit, call the cops, and they get there. Like, this bitch just don't want to come to work. Come on, girl. So both of they dumb asses got arrested. That's fucking stupid as hell. Like, <sighs> So stupid. And like you said, people out here struggling to get jobs. Just call out. Just, yeah. Why was it that? She's scary? a night shift nurse assistant. What happened to just being sick or killing off family members? Like, why are I you know. Gotta, you use a regular lie, bitch. Right. Like, My grandmother's sick. I can't come in today. My grandmother died. My grandma died. Times. Yeah. <laughs> The fuck? Just choose a grandma that's dead already and keep using it. <laughs> right. It's not like it's not like she care, right? Right. It don't She ain't looking down on heaven on you mad and shit. Yeah. She Stop already dead. Me. I mean, it is what it is. We've all done it. Like, I don't, this was dramatic. We still do it. The I was kidnapped, though. Like, who comes up with this shit? Hey, I'd be 85 and be like, my grandmother not feeling well. I would, at 85 years old, I would use that excuse. Yeah, my granny, she about 140. At 85, you should not be working. I'm just saying, if I was, I would still use that I excuse. Can't. She's about 147 or so. <laughs> She ain't really feeling up to it. I can't. I'm just saying. Oh, why God. would you fake a kidnapping? Come on, because we really got to get to this segment because I'm just excited to talk Nigga, about this at the happening end of the, shit. Okay, so the next one, a guy he's creepy who wears fuck. a cloak throws raw meat on playgrounds. In playgrounds. So he's walking around in a fucking cloak looking creepy as fuck, Throwing dropping raw meat, yeah, like on, in playgrounds. He's in North Carolina. I'm assuming, is it a white cloak? Because he might be a crazy clan. No, it's black. black. It's a black cloak. He's a white man, but he's, it's black. Is it? Does it have any clan symbols on it? No. no. He looked just like it's just the Grim Reaper cloak? in this motherfucker. Like, that's how he looked. Oh, because if he was a clansman, I'd just say shoot him, be done with it. And no one, well, else, like. North Carolina. So. And raw meat, though? Okay. Why raw meat? I, weird. I don't know. And then the ninjas. This shit just would have been funny. Like this shit to just watch to watch. Yeah, ninja clad robbers run when a store owner pulls out a massive sword. You a ninja nigga? You trained for this kind of shit? You should have been able to take him this out. This is right? your moment to right. like the put into one, use this, <laughs> one motherfucking day to be a ninja and you run. 
Because homie pulled out a sword. Y'all had one fucking job. You had <laughs> one job to be a ninja. <laughs> and you run up on the store owner with a sword uh. to chase your ass out. <laughs> I can't. I laughed so hard at this shit when I saw because I visualized it. Like, I think when oh we, I think when we were looking for this, we both sent this, right? We, we both sent this. This shit was so funny because in my head I saw the whole thing happen and. <laughs> This is what you've been training for, and you failed miserably. See, I, I used to watch collectively. A, I used to watch a lot of them old. I used to watch a lot of them old kung fu movies. So I'm assuming they talking oh, shit God. and it's like dubbed and it ain't matching up. But can you imagine the store owner just letting these motherfuckers come in? <laughs> these niggas doing black backflips and shit, and he just, <laughs> just and then they run. Oh my God, I can't. I was laughing so hard at this because I'm visual like you. That's awesome. So I'm like really just thinking just of it like, oh, six my guys God. walk in with freaking ninja masks. <laughs> and, and and there's there, there's doing all type of moves. There's video. There's it's, 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 it's surveillance video. Stuff up and then he come behind that counter with like it's surveillance. <laughs> it's surveillance video, dog. Like you can actually see the shit going down. Like it's. Oh my God! It uh, looks like the type of sword he has. Like it's one of them old, like them old school <laughs> Arabian night joints. With the it must have been a good ass sword. Yeah, look, 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 look at the picture, bro. It made the ass reconsider. <laughs> I'm laughing at Ron more than anything. He's so stupid. Oh my God! Ain't that shit funny? Oh shit! Can this I have is this? why we yeah. need you here every week. <laughs> I'm you get me. That's all I saw. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. That should have went first. That shit was good. No, you gotta say the best for last. <laughs> Man. Oh my god. Okay. Man. So y'all know I pull all these random ass stories from like Elite Daily for whatever reason. I always post shit like this. So I just find stuff like this for our segment. So this one says Sex Ed in America, the problem with teaching abstinence. I thought that was very interesting. Because I agree, there is a problem with teaching abstinence. And what did they say the problem was with teaching abstinence? It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> it's ineffective. Well, no shit, but I was wondering if they went into any kind of... Well, they went into a lot of these. This is a long-ass article. I read the whole thing. But, um, <laughs> no, they went into a lot of um, talk about it. So some guy, John Oliver, who's that? Is he famous? I don't know him. Name sounds familiar, but at the moment. Sounds so right. he was on a show called Last Week Tonight. John oh, Hall. no, I know who he is. Okay, because I don't know who he is. But he did like a 20-minute segment on sexual education and how it's failing teenagers in America. So that's where this article came from or whatever. Okay. And he's just like, I mean, it's stupid. He said that abstinence-only sex ed is totally, completely, and utterly ineffective, yet persists thanks to those set on making it as difficult as possible for teens to know anything whatsoever about their own genitals. I agree. I mean, it's yeah, like... if it's abstinence only, then that's pretty And dumb. there's nothing wrong with, like, teaching abstinence, but yeah. at the same time, like they said in here, that shouldn't be the only choice. Yeah. If that is something you choose, great. But at the same time, teenagers gonna fuck regardless. <laughs> and they gonna like, keep fucking. Yeah. So... <laughs> well I mean, into adulthood. So I mean. wouldn't it be better... Like to teach them just precautions and just about sex in general and like answer any questions that they may have as opposed to just saying don't do it. Like to yeah. me, and plus with a teenager, even as an adult, you tell me not to do some shit. Guess you what I'm going to do? do it. <sighs> like the thing about it is people, we, we love, we as a society, we love to forget that we're animals, right? And this is a major part of our existence. We're supposed to want to have sex. Yeah, like, that's a that's major true. part of our existence. So. To just say don't do it, you're actually denying somebody's nature to even want to. Like, if they make the decision not to do it, that's a that's, conscious, yeah. higher-level thought process. Like, I really don't want to get down that way right now for whatever reason it may be. But just to say don't do it. And not give a good reason behind it. Yes, right. give me the precautions. You, as a woman or a girl, a teenage girl, girl, yes, you can get pregnant. There's all type of STDs out here that you can, yes educate them on those things so if they choose abstinence because they're scared shitless like i was <laughs> they're not gonna fuck i was but <laughs> i wasn't scared shitless. i was but i wasn't shit. i wasn't having sex, i'm still though, ever std i would die. like just kill me now like it can be some curable shit i'm dying the thought of catching anything fucking kill me now see i was an abstinence kid but I was the other way around. I was getting taught because it was like a religious thing. So I didn't gotcha. have sex until like 
college. Yeah. So, but it wasn't, I think it worked better because they taught abstinence, but they also were like, if you're going to do it. The, yeah, exactly. And that is what I feel should be taught. Me growing up was like, don't do it. Not my mama. Like, my mother was real open. Like, look, bitch, get on these this pill. I ain't saying you're doing it. We ain't got to go over all that shit. But if you are, you ain't bringing no babies in this house. It was one of those. So she went fucking around. My mama gave me a box of condoms and said, you better not be using these. See? And I'm like, huh? Okay. But <laughs> what? but it's still like, what? if you are, protect yourself. That's really the whole yeah. point. And yeah. the whole, you know, it's like, don't go out and tell a teenager, like, Go out and fuck everybody that you can. No. <laughs> that's not what we're saying. Here's a, here's a box for you. Right. Like, that's not what we're saying. But <laughs> And then they brought up a good point about um, LG, LBGT teens because they don't even talk about that. They said that many U.S. states prohibit acknowledgement of homosexuality and sex ed. That is fucking ridiculous to me. So gay kids just. Y'all just out there. Yeah, gay like, kids have it the worst. It's the worst. Gay kids come out to like their families, and then they get kicked out, and then they be out on the street, yeah, you know, fitting for themselves, and then they be up under all these other like older gay people yep. that don't be teaching them nothing but a bunch of slutty ass. Exactly, and that and is then, the point that they're making in here. It's like if you don't get the right advice, the right education, you're going to find it somewhere else, and mm-hmm. it may not be. It the may best. not be the best way. Is it okay for me so, to say? Is it okay for me to say that the majority of the people in this country are just stupid absolutely. by way of laziness absolutely yeah. because i mean that's what it seems like to me it's, it's like sheer ignorance just don't do it i ain't really gonna tell you why you shouldn't but just don't, don't do, do it, it instead mm-hmm. of going into details and even here like i'm reading this this statement here about the gay kids not even being able to ask if it's okay, okay. To be like what do you mean okay like it's it's, it's who, who you, you are, are. <laughs> exactly like what, you know what the fuck? but they don't but some kid you know if you're like just coming into your own and you don't really understand you don't know that yeah you don't really fully you know what i mean like some kids don't fully understand that or own it and they don't know especially like you said if you have a religious parent or religious family you just don't really know and mm-hmm. i just feel like there needs to be someone that's educating you and just like giving you that reassurance that it's okay to be who the fuck you are you like, know i don't really you know, <sighs> you know how when people say vagina to you, it disgusts you. You just go, oh. Mm-hmm. Somebody... It just. When I hear <laughs> when I hear religion, religion has the same effect. He, yeah, on me, that's that the word. same effect on because him. I mean, it's true. like I said, it's, it makes people lazy. You ain't some guy in the clouds told you don't fuck. And if go through the Bible, it never really says don't. that. Don't. No, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't really say that. No, it don't say a lot of stuff. It's all. But, it's but all people interpret that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, and instead of looking at real world issues and shit you go to a book that was created however long ago it's yeah. archaic just for people, one and then you know people twist you know, shit and yes. <laughs> make it to what they want it to be but that's any religion that's any, religion, yeah. religion yeah. says religion. religion says deny your nature and don't explore these things it's nothing but a form of control even people who don't believe in religion still believe in something it don't have to be like a higher power, but they believe that that nothing exists, which means you believe something, which means everybody believes in something. No, I'm not, and I'm not. I would never take it like like I said. People that decide to be abstinent, that's your choice. True story. Oh, absolutely. But, but mm-hmm. don't fucking, you know, yeah, don't be preachy and don't be looking at everybody else and, because and, they and don't be do out it. Don't do it because you think some man in the clouds gives a shit about you fucking. I mean, like I'm abstinent. You know now. what I'm saying? I'm abstinent and celibate, not by choice, but. I just am. I don't know what I am. But, but you, <laughs> you know, I'm practicing abstinence right now. But I do, I do what you're saying. If you're gonna make the decision, make it for yourself. But yeah. most people don't. Most people make the decision based off of religion, whatever it is, because that's the only choice that they think they have. I was growing up, I was a church kid, and so I knew that it wasn't my only choice. But there are people around me who definitely thought that was like the only choice. Like, I'm not gonna have sex till I get married because, mm-hmm. in God's eyes, I'm X, Y, and Z. Some people's like, I'm not having sex because my mama said not to have sex. Some people's like, I'm not having sex because I don't, I don't wanna look wanna, a certain yeah, way. Yeah, I like, mean, it's well, the, yeah. But you see, but you see, what's the underlying element of all of those? Some level of fear. Some yeah. level of to do yeah, that. it's some level of somebody in your ear, right? Which is usually where it comes from. Don't do that because you might end up. Blah 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 blah. When the truth of the matter is, we should be teaching these kids that to be safe if you decide to do that, not not to not do it. And I know you can't use a double negative, but you get what I'm right, saying. No, I get it. You know, I want to venture yeah. off a little bit because you just said something that I just want 
I know y'all opinions on it because we all share it. <laughs> okay, the whole sex before marriage. No sex before marriage. I used to be on that. The fuck? I what? Back when I put pussy on the pedestal, I was like that. But <laughs> <laughs> like now, I mean, cons- no. Like There's no way in. Ha- okay, so the the concept of marriage is that you spend the rest of your life with this one person. There's no way in hell. You're not gonna try them out. I <laughs> you're not, go through life. You're not gonna buy a car before you drive it. Hello, first. without knowing. Well, what the fuck's going no, on? No, you would. Are you well, crazy? For me, are y'all crazy? For me, I mean, you already know that the how fuck? I get, how I do things. I've already had sex, premarital sex, a bunch of fucking times. But I think I, we all have. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I've never but, been married. But if somebody else, <laughs> if somebody else decides to do that, and it's some 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 belief that they have, then I'm fine with that as long as it's no, not I'm because fine. they're scared of something happening to them otherwise. No, I'm fine with whatever oh, yeah. choice anybody make about themselves. I don't really give a fuck like that. I'm just saying how. How, girl? Like <laughs> how? Or guy? How? That bitch can be boring as fuck. His <sighs> dick can be little. Like I mean, it's so many things that can just be horrible about the situation. Like I just what? Yeah. <laughs> no sex before marriage? And then what if you don't get married till you like forty five? You're called a eunuch at that point. Like, so you're just going to go through life, right? I, I, Not, like, get nothing because I, you waiting on the right one. Bitch, are I, you I think crazy? Of AC, I think of A.C. Green. <laughs> Fucking crazy. The oldest. I think of A.C. Green. Dustiest vagina ever. Remember A.C. Green? Yeah, I do. No. I think of A.C. He played for the Lakers back in the day. He was, like, oh, a virgin yeah, yeah, up yeah, until yeah, yeah, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm just saying, like, how? I can't. How you play pro ball and be a virgin? Right. All the pussy get thrown at you? I know. That right there alone. Uh, uh, uh. Let me look him up. Is he Was he wearing a metal chastity belt? I, like, I just don't understand how that works. And I'm not like sex crazy and no shit. You know me. I'm actually But it's still very... a, natu- it's, it's a natural part of who you yeah. want to do that. <laughs> like, You're why people need to test drive shit out before they get married. That's exactly the why. They would get married like, you know what I'm saying? What, what's happening? <laughs> Put my business all out. In these y'all streets. did it already. Don't put these business. What is it? What is it? What is it? Y'all can y'all come back to episode twelve and thirteen. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Only <laughs> on Christmas, <laughs> nigga. Only on Christmas. <laughs> Your birthday, Christmas. What are the holidays? A death in the family. Easter. Right? <laughs> Sympathy. <laughs> Easter. Easter. I don't know. I'm not That's sucking dick like on the Sunday. I was like, that is Jesus. No. What's wrong? Keep wrong. Jesus did not die and rise for a dick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's not what he did. Exactly. I don't say don't do it, but I don't think God gave instructions on auto fellatio. So that don't what Easter about, is just not what, what, about, what Valentine's about Day. What about Kwanzaa? What about Valentine's Kwanzaa? Day, sweetest day. That's the made up holiday. But whatever. They it's both his made. Day. Kwanzaa. How about Kwanzaa? Okay. What if, what if you? What if you? What if you what? Jewish? What if you Jewish and you know that? What's the holiday? The Jews Hanukkah. Don't you supposed to give there shit up what, for Hanukkah? one of those? One of them, you give some up. Yeah, give up. You ain't sucking dick, so give up that and suck some dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do the opposite of what you know. I got you. Exactly. That's what so instead is. of a dreidel, you want some dick. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm just saying. I think it's a, I think it's a great idea. It saves lots of money on gifts. Oh, my God. Could you imagine how many gifts you don't have to buy if you just start handing out neck? <laughs> <laughs> I not handing it out though. Neck. I Neck. have I have a, I have a problem Neck. with that. I have a problem. With We've this, gone sir. over this. We know the problem. <laughs> I have a problem with that. You have with this. You cannot quantify. Sure, you second. can. You can't put a dollar amount. That's twenty dollars. That's sixty dollars. I bet you women do Bitches it. Bitches do it all the time. I was gonna say that. I'm saying that they, shit ain't. That shit ain't. That shit ain't. That's not fair. A guy can't eat it. some coochie and then be oh, like, yeah. that's $100 Y'all worth Y'all should of, find a better way. That's $100 worth of find pussy Find a better licking? way. Find a better way. Maybe you should start. Charging to eat pussy? I think you just shouldn't do that at all, actually. That's <laughs> well. <laughs> hey, Ron. 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 <laughs> vagina. Ain't, next time you say vagina, I'm going to bring a, a picture of like a gay porn <laughs> yep, app and hold it up. Like, that's what you should do. <laughs> that shit don't bother me. It ain't gotta bother you. No, show it. It don't like, bother you what you ain't seen. I'm a show it going. Dream. Yeah, you gotta show the graphic shit. It'll yet. bother him. I'm a fuck your, your your mental up. Dick I got and you. ass up close. It'll bother you. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. No, no. It's like torture. Oh. Wake up in a cold sweat. Oh. 
Oh, he was mad, and his pants was like hot last week because he was talking about the girl that set the her man's dick on fire. Oh was, man! Oh, <laughs> oh! He was over here moving and shit. Like no. In the bed when she woke him up. <laughs> That's yeah. worse than it getting cut off. No, she she needs her ass. Well, I exactly. Did. I said that too. I said that too. She I agree. Be, that I would have ridiculous. beat her fucking eyebrows off. Like I would have, <laughs> I would have beat her ass. So a lot of talk about eyebrows. <laughs> what I say earlier about eyebrows? We was walking through the mall. And <laughs> she went on this whole rant about I some did. eyebrows. Cause mine looking, oh my God. A li- mine need to be like touched up a little bit. They still look good, but they need to be touched up. So I was I like, I love how she did. They still look good though. They still look good. No, so we're in the mall, right, the whole time, and I'm like, it's two goddamn eyebrow places. I could have been getting my shit done before the show or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I was like, cause you know you can't trust the bitch with bad eyebrows. Nope. <laughs> because that means she don't know no better. And that bitch don't care about shit. This is on your face. It frames the face. Like, girl, if you just wear it walking around with fucked up eyebrows or like chip nail polish, what does that say about your character? You don't care about shit. <laughs> People can see that. I'd be dead ass serious too. He was like dying, laughing at me. Like, I'm serious. I'm so glad I'm a guy. This girl came to class I'm and she so had glad. her eyebrows were so nice. And then at the end of class, she like. Woo! And then eyebrow and came all that right came off. on off. I took a lap around the fucking studio. <laughs> I couldn't tell me deal you got that. It. Tell me you got like some what sort of you, footage. Footage of what? The I was eyebrow no coming good off. after that. I was no good after that. You she don't was, even see that coming. I'm like, oh <laughs> no. I'm like, <laughs> let me get up. Oh. Well, women fill in their eyebrows, but like, I don't have like I didn't do shit to my eyebrows today, so I have eyebrows. That but my, a lot of girls here today, gone tomorrow. That's what happened. It was like windshield wipers. Like. I can't. What is she? I thought that stuff was supposed to be like, like you, stay on. You better start licking your thumbs when you go on dates. She need better product. She need to set it. This, this is setting. This a she gel. Need a sharpie. A lot of shit you can do. Ain't that ain't coming out with, unless it's acetone. That's what she needs. So or, what was she using? Like Crayola markers or something? She was using some that was cheap. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, word. Of, if y'all don't take shit else away from this goddamn show, don't trust the bitch with bad eyebrows, okay? Or chip nail polish. Unless I'm talking to you, Vody. Unless she's Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> he texted me right now saying he hates me. Whoopi Goldberg got bad eyebrows. She has no eyebrows. <laughs> she doesn't. Exactly, None. Exactly. Which is why I said Whoopi Whoopi Goldberg don't have is, she is the expression I give that bitch queen. the side eye. Where your eyebrows? Whoopi don't got eyebrows. Go no. look at every Whoopi Goldberg movie. None. She has not a eyebrow. You already know which one I'm going to go look at. Go look at all of them. What, Color Purple? Hell yeah. They probably drew that shit in. Yeah. She, she was none. young, man. She yeah. had none. But yeah, she don't have eyebrows. She had none in Ghost. She had like none in Sister Act. a medical condition? No. I don't know. I think it's like a personal decision. She like, she like <laughs> gorilla. What, what does she have against eyebrows? A lot, apparently. How can anyone have anything against eyebrows? Like, I take that shit so seriously. That's like, if I don't have shit else done, my eyebrows gonna be done. Well, we'll be out here. She done fooled us all. I swear when I hang out with y'all, I learn some new shit every day. You know what would be a good video? We so all over the place. Huh. You getting threaded. Fuck that. I'm taking you. Man, I didn't see these it. chicks get up and they faces are swell. Fuck that shit. It's I think, fuck I, that. I think you've seen me when I've left from getting so it. It feels so good. That's fuck light that. skin issues, though. That's light fuck skin that. Stuff. When that get threaded, like... It feels good. All this shit be red and puffy. It's worth it, though. Fuck that. Me. That shit be on if point. If was dark skin, you wouldn't have those issues. Fuck that. I'm going to take you. I know you said that it. 10 times. Fuck you that. You should get them. No. You we got to go. You should about eyebrows. thread your beard and your mustache, too. They do that. That'll be good filming. It'll be it'll be the freshest line you ever had though. I'm gonna take you to my place. No. <laughs> that was I was waiting on something else. <laughs> Just that was a simple ass no. No. Mm. We gotta go. So <laughs> oh my god, we went on so many tangents. But I'm gonna leave you thread my fucking eyebrows. I'm taking you. We're gonna do this. No. Look for a video. Not soon, because he going to fight me on it for a little while, but we're going to make that happen. I'll do something that I would normally do if you do this. Work? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know I got a twisted-ass mind. Don't let me come uh, up does. with some shit. But, I mean, I could just go back on my word, so it doesn't matter. Um, Ain't nobody threading shit. You're, do- you're doing it. No, we're not. This is going to be great, guys. We are not doing it. This will be great. It'll be great. You you're, can do it. You're outvoted. It's you really not that it. bad, B. Like... I get this shit done like every two to three weeks. Look at it's my really face. It's really not that bad. I'm seeing it. Look at my it's face. It's not as bad as you think it is. I don't give a fuck if it's good. I'm not doing <laughs> it. I'm evaluating right now. It's going to take like 15 years off. 
Ron, since you're here. And you already like, that's like, that, that's going to put you at 12. We got to go. Oh. Since you're here, will you tell them where to follow us and all that stuff? On Twitter, ooh, this is good. I haven't done this in a while. On Twitter, you can follow us at Social Miss Social, social Misconduct. <laughs> Bow. S O C Misconduct. <laughs> on Facebook, it is Social Misconduct Radio. And on Instagram, it is Social Misconduct. <laughs> it Girl Forever from Ikea. <laughs> B-Wild 80. Mm-hmm, there we go. That's what it is. <laughs> B-Wild 80. <laughs> and Spider-On with an H. Oh, I finally, finally got um, the logo for my lifestyle site that I've been talking about for months. It's a real thing, guys. Um, so the logo is posted if you want to go and see how that looked for Lou Bell Lifestyle. That's on my Instagram that he just told you about and my Facebook and all that stuff. Um, hope you all have been watching us on Snapchat and whatever Ron's been posting. I have no idea what's on my Snapchat right now, but... Follow me at It Girl Forever on there, and you may see appearances from B since he refuses to get one, and you're on there too. Do you want people to follow you or no? It's still Spider on S P I D R H O N. On Snapchat too. So, yes. Anything yeah. else before we get out of here, before they kick us out? People? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Look, we're finishing on time Ain't today. Nobody threading shit. <sighs> Thread these. Same time, same place next week. <laughs> Twitch off. <laughs> oh my god. You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B Wall, only on LA Talk Radio.